Candace. And, and, up, up. Come here. Sit. Sit. And Mr. Padfoot and Mooney, high five. There you go. I know, it's hot in here. Why is your nose all wet and runny? Because I don't feel too good today. Thank you. So I am so so excited. Um, I knew this package was coming today. Um, it is a pre-order I had from Entertainment Earth. Um, and this shirt I am wearing. I should tell you what it is or what what it's focused on. No, it is not the Alex DeLarge Clockwork Orange Funko Pop, but it is on pre-order. Um, I just could not wait for it to arrive um, for unboxing of this figure, but I mean, I, I just can't. I am not that patient, but we have this package from Entertainment Earth, and um, I'm just like so beside myself with excitement right now. Um, I know you guys have heard me talk a little bit in the past of how much I love A Clockwork Orange, how much I love the actor Malcolm McDowell, who was the starring role in the film. Um, and I had met Malcolm McDowell a few years ago when I was going through cancer after my mother just passed away. So, um, I absolutely love Malcolm McDowell. And I had seen this particular figure, a couple years ago or so it was is before I started doing um, the geek boxes and discovering Funko I had seen these these vinyl figures online but never could find them in stores or find them online to buy um, it's because they did not actually exist we had uh, they had um, some figures from the shining Jack Wendy, Danny, and the, the Grady twins. Um, I know they have some Rocky Horror ones. They have um, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson from the BBC's Sherlock. They have a bunch of figures, but they're actually not on the market. They do have some out for um, Walking Dead, Ghostbusters, and other films. Um, but when I saw that this one finally became a viable retail figure and it was finally being released I had to snatch it um, I pre-ordered it and I am so happy corner of the box a little bit but that kind of happens with these figures but um he is absolutely gorgeous and it is Alex Delarge from A Clockwork Orange I remember when I saw this figure a few years ago um, and I had to be at least three years ago. I didn't, I didn't know what Funko was back then. Um, and I, did, I didn't even see a name Funko attached to these particular weird, goofy, vinyl-looking figures. Um, but I just knew I wanted them, but they didn't really exist. And um, I still really don't know the whole story behind it. But um, it actually became a thing. And when I found out, I was like, oh my gosh, so I... I knew it would show up on Entertainment Earth as a pre-order, and it did, and I got on it. So I typically don't open these kind of figures, like my um, Funko Hakari Astro Boy, but I have just got to get in here. These boxes are very sturdy, so it's kind of hard to get into. Oh, I am just wigging out. And if I ever meet Malcolm McDowell again, it, he's got to sign this this box. That, that that's my my. I never really had a bucket list because I've always done everything I ever wanted to do in my life for the most part. But now I have something to make a bucket list for. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm I'm fighting back like total happiness tears right now. You guys just cannot imagine how thrilled I am to have this figure.
Oh, well. <laughs> He's amazing. He is just so amazing. Can't get him up close to the way my, my camera's sitting on this box, but he's just amazing. The details. Wow. He's just beautiful. He even has Malcolm McDowell's dimples. I just, I love him. I love him so much. Did you want to say I'm sorry? What'd you think? Uh, the vinyl idols are kind of pricey. They run about $20, $25 or more. Um, they can get up to about $30 if you order them online with shipping. Because you can see the box is very big. Um, it's kind of heavy. This is my first uh, vinyl idols figure. Oh, he's just amazing. It's like holding a, a piece of art in my hand. It's just, and holding, I'm, I'm holding very nostalgic memories and feels in my hand. Oh, I just love him. Oh, I might have to get another one so I can have one in the box and one out of the box. Because he is just spectacular. I screw all the other Funkos I have, Funko items I have. This, this is he. He's just the most favoriteest thing I've ever gotten from Funko. Um, wow, he's just. You guys just don't know. With that film, what Malcolm, all that means to me. And after having met him in such a dark time in my life when I was so sick and grieving and going through a lot, that just meant a lot to me. So anything Clockwork Orange I get my hands on is just, just everything to me. Oh, he's just so amazing. Oh, I love him. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice this. He actually has a stand. Pretty awesome. So, um, and to my longtime bestie Chrissy, gotta get this. Oh my god! She's a big Clockwork Orange Malcolm fan too. So much so, like me, obsessed with him. When I went to Con and I met him, I she couldn't go, so I got her an autographed photo from him that he personalized to her. And when her house was on fire, that was one of the things she ran in and snatched. <laughs> so that tells you right there what hardcore fans we are of now. So, oh, this is awesome. And I cannot wait for the Funko Pop to come. Um, I did find out that there was a... A variant of the Funko Pop with the mask, the long nose, and more than likely it's going to be a New York City Comic Con exclusive. Um, I don't know if that's going to make it retail or not, but if anyone can score me one of those, oh my god, you just don't know what that would mean to me. Um, I just absolutely love Malcolm. I'm going to include my very awful, hideous photos of me and Malcolm at the end of this video. 
I might have been sick at the time and looked very, very horrible. Steroids had me blown up, looked like a big fat beached whale. I just looked awful. I was very sick. My hair fell out and I didn't have much going on up there. So, I don't care. I just love my Malcolm. I gotta share my Malcolm. So, but that is it for us. Just had to show you guys. Oh, I'm so happy! I don't get excited like this very often. I am just so happy. Well, make me happy. Make something Malcolm McDowell happen, and I'm a happy geek girl. So that is it for us. That is it for us. Who wants a biscuit? Up. Uh, go get it. Here it is. Here it is, big guy. I love playing that prank on him. Come here. Look right here. Here it is. box on the floor to go look for it. Now he's too scared of it to come back. Come here! You're the biggest damn coward. That's what how my honey behaved. It's gotten into you. Like, come here! Up! Here, look. Up! Up there you go! See it! What we tell everybody? Say like! Like! Comment! Come on, no. Subscribe! High five! Ah! On my hair! Fist bump! Yay, babies! Look! Mama's got a new baby! Don't get kisses? I know you get very thin kisses. And that's it for us. See you later. Peace. Say bye, babies! I didn't even show you guys the back of the box. Are you kidding? Willy, willy, well, 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 as he says. So you got it in your gulliver for a bit of the old ultra vinyl? I taught you well, my droogie. So why not sharpen up with a bit? Oh, uh, so why not sharpen up with a glass of Maloko Plus? A bit of the glorious ninth and enjoy. As if you got yarbles. Ya eunuch jelly thou, fitty well, little brother, fitty well.